today we're going to go and find a little spring that we've heard about. It's supposed to be super cold. I think the water comes straight off the melting snow-capped mountains. And uh, I'm going to dive in there with the housing, see if I can get a split-level water shot. Uh, the water's supposed to be super clear, so we'll go check it out. Hopefully there's not too many crew down there and we can get it all to ourselves. The idea of this shoot was to get an immersive image of this beautiful freshwater spring. I wanted to create a feeling of being in the water rather than just a, being a spectator of the scene. It was for a client who had accommodation nearby and wanted to highlight three or four surrounding area locations. The resurgence pool was one of them and I thought if I could utilise my water housing for this shot I could get something you know a little different from what they had already seen. I used an off-camera flash for most of my shots here to try and give uh, some illumination to the underwater side of the split. The water was so clear but there wasn't much light bouncing around uh, underneath there. So with a touch of fill flash it gave me just a little something. Without the use of this flash the water would have been very dark and almost black. The end result wasn't exactly what I thought I could achieve but it's by no means you know, it's by no means a favourite and it won't make any of my portfolios. However, it was a solid enough image to include in the client, client's package. Further up the stream, I got this image out of the water and I like this one a little better, but having the two angles give the, gives the client some options. For this shoot, I chose to use the Canon 5D Mark III with my lens set at 17mm. I used the 600EX Canon flash, all inside an Aquatec housing and I used an extension cord to get my flash away from my camera. Having a water housing just to get a different look on things can really broaden the variety of your photo packages. So thanks for tuning in today and having a look at um, just a small, small glimpse into the process I go to to get a photo. Uh, I love using water housing, housings, I'm so passionate about them and uh, you know, I think they can, they can just give so much more to your photography scope. So if you like being in and around water, consider getting water housing. And uh, yeah, I'd love to keep giving you tips. Let us know what you want to hear.